Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to create a time series graph using Excel. I have this data here um, which shows the number of floods in a given year based on this website. Based on this website, so this is coming from NOAA. I'll link this uh, website in the description for the video in case you want to check out the original data. But as you can see, we have um, numerical data for each year. So this is uh, tracking some kind of number over time. So what I'd like to create is a graph that shows each of these flood numbers with the year going along the x-axis. So the first thing I'll do is highlight uh, all my cells, uh, including the titles, the year and floods in this case. And then I'm going to go to the Insert tab and there's a couple different approaches to this. One shortcut way to get these graphs, and this usually works, is to go to the recommended charts option, and this will bring up some possible charts. Now we're looking for um, a line graph, and we want the number of floods to be on the vertical axis and the year on the horizontal axis. This first one that pops up is exactly what I want. Um, it looks like the third one in my options also would work. It's just a little bit different scale. Um, I actually kind of like these graphs with the markers on them, but you can always change that about the, your graph. So. If, if you check out that recommended charts button, which again is in the insert, um, kind of in the center option, that's generally the fastest way to get your graph. Once you have a graph looking like this, um, I would need to add labels to the horizontal and vertical axes. So that is going to be in the chart tools design tab. Over on the left hand side, I can do add chart element. Um, and add an axis title, and I'm going to do that for the horizontal and also for the vertical. So now I can label my horizontal axis with year and my vertical axis with floods. And actually now that I'm looking back at the data, this is not the number of floods, this is actually the number of deaths from floods. So um, I need to give this a better label. Rather than floods, I need to label this with deaths from floods. Um, and I might include uh, in the US or maybe I put that in my title. Uh, but make sure you have a good description of what this data is actually showing us. So at this point, that would be the end of my time series graph. Um, if I wanted to add uh, the little markers on here, I can do that either by changing um, maybe the different types of graphs in, these, in the design tab, or I can go to the change chart type box, um, and it shows a bunch of different line chart options. So I could pick this first one, the line with markers. It doesn't really matter. That's just my personal preference. Now, say you went in to create your graph and this did not show up in the recommended charts. So if I delete this, say I just couldn't find that information. The way to do this by hand or from scratch is to go to the insert menu. Rather than the recommended charts, if you're not finding what you need there, then I would pick this one on the middle on the left. This is a line or area chart. Um, again, it has these different line options. You could pick the first one, or I'm going to do this one with the markers. The problem with this approach is that you see on the graph is that this has actually created a line chart tracking the year as well as the number of deaths from floods. So it's not linking my data up. It's kind of graphing them as two different sets of data. One way to fix this is while you have your chart selected in the Chart Tools Design tab, I'm going to click this Select Data button. And once you've got that open, I want to edit the horizontal axis labels with this Edit button. Um, and I want to tell Excel to use the different years as those horizontal axis labels. So I'm going to highlight from 1995 down to the bottom. Um, I'm not highlighting the label that says year. I'm just highlighting those numbers. And you'll notice if I scooch this out of the way, along the bottom of my graph, I actually have the years shown um, rather than just one, two, three, four, five. So that's perfect. But I don't want it to also be graphing my year 
um, on the vertical axis. So in the select data source, the select data option, I'm going to uncheck year from um, the checkboxes on the left. Right, so this gives us the graph that looks pretty similar to what we were looking at before. Um, I would again need to go in and add some axis titles. Um, and I might delete the legend since we don't really need it. That's this little box at the bottom. If I click on that and delete, number of deaths from floods and years and a title. So there we go. If you have trouble creating these graphs, um, a couple things to watch out for. Make sure that your year is the first column and your other data is the second column and that there's not any kind of gap or uh, extra data in between them because sometimes that can get Excel a little bit confused. Excel can be a little bit finicky with these particular graphs. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.